Hey guys, Dmitry here, the Not Tech, and today I want to share you about a little bit of information about the GTFS. Uh, so what is the GTFS? It's basically the General Transit Fit Specification, uh, and the specification allows to public companies like the government or like you know uh, the, for example, Deutsche Bahn. Um, uh, it allows them to share information information about the public trains, transit, uh, vehicles, or like stops, uh, and basically all together uh, for future, for past, for current information about the... Uh, so the example of usages, as you see in the picture, is the uh, train departures. It's, it can be not only the trains, it can be like the buses, everything basically. Um, not sure about the planes though, but uh, you know, like the... it's not the that type of transport, but it can be used actually. So, and yeah, basically some of the tableaus that uh, you can see around the town, they can use this um, as a way to uh, show the data. So basically once in a while company will publish this data somewhere on their website and there is actually a specification for that. So they should be hosted as a your company slash DTFS fast.zip and um, so we're not interested in how to create them basically we're interested how to parse them because you know we're programmers and uh, so one thing that you can use uh, so basically the gtfs is just a zip file which contains a lot of csv comma separated values um, additional files and there is a specific protocol, uh, there is a specific um, specification uh, for them. And there is uh, like, you always will have such thing as agency, stops, routes, trips, stop times, and uh, yeah, calendar and calendar dates. Uh, those are like, you can, um, like this, you can see always in this like 99% chance that they are there. And um, so uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the description for this file um, for this website there is uh, if you'll need to like to make it really pre precise while parsing this will help you because there is like enums like this that you can use and it should be um, use it like um, it should be uh, it will help basically yeah so how to parse it? Of course, I put the Excel there because you can basically use the Excel for that. You can import the CSV files. One thing that I found though is really helpful. So, oh uh, yeah, uh, there I have the example of GTFS, the um, data that was in a uh, zip file. And you can see like the, the same uh, files that were in a uh, specification. I have also a UBUS um, with the same, like this one is not um, so rich, but the, uh, the idea is the same basically. And um, yeah, so one thing that I um, can help you with is to share a link for um, the uh, transit. Uh, this thing is really helpful for uh, parsing the data. Uh, and to visualize the, everything. And uh, here you can see I, I imported the Flix. Uh, this one actually is somehow the Flix train, but whatever. Um, I Im imported the data. And uh, here you can find the... Um, so basically all the CSV values will be parsed and you can uh, pretty much clearly see what it uh, looks like. And uh, there is all the information when, it, when at which time it arrives, for example, Münster, uh, which time it departs, and all its trip, uh, the stops, and other stuff. For example, yeah, you know, Amsterdam, Brussels, Cherbourg. Uh, same thing. You can see all the like the details where it starts and then like where it goes and uh, everything like that. That's really helpful for starting the data investigation. Uh, so you, you need to clearly understand what the data is before you can start working with it. And so we're going to the third option and uh, you can actually use both of them together. 
is the pandas for Python. And uh, I can demonstrate you a little bit of the data that you can use. Um, so we're going to start with importing the pandas in NumPy. Um, and uh, so to read the CSV values, of course, you can use the read CSV from the PD um, package and uh, you can just point it to the uh, extracted the uh, zip file. So first you need to download it, of course. Uh, I'll put some links that you can use for that, uh, including the Deutsche Bahn official uh, repo for that. Um, yeah, so you just can read all of them together. Um, I have some problem because I don't have it. Okay, yeah, sorry. Uh, we'll fix it to Woodbox. We'll take this one here and put the fix for it. All right, now it's better. So we can uh, see the trips, for example, uh, the head of them, and we have a road ID, uh, service ID, trip ID, and the like the uh, other information. For example, there is a, tri a trip head sign that uh, shows for the buses. You know, in the, in the Flix bus, for example, you see the uh, specific head sign, so uh, that can help to identify the bus. Um, so. There is also roads. Let me show you the roads PD. Um, this one, what is it? It's not. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, I missed it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there is a road ID as well, and uh, there is, for example, the in the roads you can see the description, long name, Paris Central, Bercy, Lily, uh, Long Grass. Um, and uh, again, the road type, for example, can be looked up in a specification. Um, so one thing that I can do is to show you the, um, so for example, in our trips PD, uh, the first thing we had was the uh, ID zero is the, uh, the trip that we had. Um, so the XPB, I think it's, yeah, it's um, the Paris Bercy. Um, X, I don't know what it is X, but P is Paris and B is Percy. Uh, I used to travel there a lot. And uh, so what we can do is to, we, we can find the roads um, for the entries in roads for that by basically taking the, uh, taking the road ID from, from the, um, from the roads um, that, uh, uh, and uh, uh, we're taking this this road ID from the trips, um, and uh, yeah, so we just uh, specify what we want to to show. So we need, we only need this road ID, and we can see the uh, information about that, like like there. So we have like, and uh, yeah, so there is like also the um, stop times. Uh, data frame uh, which has uh, the like the specific information about the trip for example we have trip id and then there is a lot of entries uh, at uh, which time so basically that's the um if we open the uh, the agencies you can see the that's the stops uh, same thing is here and so we have a lot of entries for specific time when something arrives and then departs if time is the same, it's basically the starting point uh, in a lot of the cases. So what do we can do with the data? And one thing that we can do is we can join that. Um, we can use concat, but it's not so um, useful here. So yeah, we can join it with the, uh, what is this? We can join trips with the stop time speed. Oh yeah, uh, wait, it's just we, yeah. Um, let's see what are the others. So we have stop trip. The, and now we have two uh, things joined. So we have the uh, trips with the stop times. And now we can see we have the XPB zap and we have all the stops that it will take. Uh, that's just an example. And then we can also um, merge it into the, uh, with the was this stops? Uh, so now we'll have the um, 
more clue. I'll, I'll, I'll shorten our view into the, oops, this is not here. I'll shorten our view to the, uh, our first option that we've seen, the Paris Bercy. And we have three steps here, basically. Um, so, uh, so it goes Paris Bercy and then Lily and then London. Um, yeah, so we have the, also the latitude and longitude here. So yeah, that's um, pretty much really easy to parse and it's really useful if you're working with something related to buses, trains and, and like the public transport, basically. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. There is a lot of like metadata, for example, wheelchair um, accessible and uh, like everything that you uh, may need, of course, not the complete data, but it can be really useful. So uh, I'll suggest to use the Ad Transit or any other open source software. There is a lot, there is a bunch of them that you can use. And um, yeah, once you acquired the information about the data and you're comfortable with it, uh, you can, can start parsing it uh, in a pandas and, uh, um, well, just uh, do the thing that you need to do with it. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time.